there was a period of time when Highlander 2 came out that my name wasn't Gregory Wyden. It was Gregory Wyden. I didn't write Highlander 2. You know? <laughs> Because people were so angry at that movie, and I remember I had to just constantly say, "No, no, I'm, I'm the one guy that didn't have anything to do with it." You know, I was off. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do that one. I have sole credit on Highlander Two. And Highlander Two, which was of course the one following the one that did so well, um, it was a pivotal movie and very important to try to get the franchise moving in the right direction. It ended up being some, something a little bit different from what I certainly I had in mind. But um, uh, the producers, I think, were very much in charge of this new direction, which I think involved other planets and uh, all that kind of thing. I mean, you can you can try, you know, given a set of circumstances, uh, there's always an opportunity to turn it into something that works. But I think it was a little bit betwixt and between. You, you weren't quite sure quite what was going on because it wasn't quite as grounded in any kind of graspable myth as the first movie was, which really was laying the foundation for a franchise which, in my opinion, should have ramped off that first film to a far greater extent. I think it would have done better. I think what tended to happen in, in the subsequent sequels is, is that each film became just sui generis. It just became a film unto itself rather than, you know, you know where you are, you know who your people are, here's a new adventure involving them. So there is a unity of all that Aristotle stuff about unity of time, place and action. You know where you are and therefore you, you're free to enjoy it all again. With the sequels to Highlander I think that that was not quite so much the case.